The reef is one year old. Let's do an update. Hey YouTube, it's Brian and we're coming at you today with an update on the reef tank. <clears throat> As I said at the beginning, um, the reef is now one year old. Um, I set it up, uh, well, I'm not sure exactly the date, but I did my first video on it last June 2015. Um, and uh, it's progressed nicely along the way, I've learned a lot. Um, things have gone good, things have gone bad, but overall it's been quite a success, I would say, and I'm really happy I went ahead with it. Uh, the only thing I wish is that I would have gone bigger to start with, but what are you going to do? Um, for those of you that are newer to this channel, um, or if this is the first time you're seeing this video, what this is is a BioCube 29. It's got the basic uh, BioCube stand, and um, I've upgraded the lighting on it to the Steve's LED lights. Um, I've got a uh, Tunes uh, 9004, I think it is, or 9001, I, I always forget, skimmer. Um, I'm using the MP10. Recently I've upgraded uh, again and added a dosing pump, which I'll talk about in a little bit. But uh, yeah, overall things are going really good with this and, and I can't complain. Um, <clears throat> I'll just kind of give you an update here. Um, I think on the last update I may have had this fish down here, a bicolor pseudo. If not, he's new. There's the uh, purple firefish out and about. Um, clowns are both doing great. Uh, plan on getting rid of this uh, pajama cardinal up here. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, my uh, goby is out right now, uh, the uh, scooter blenny is over here, uh, there's uh, one of my two fire shrimp, sorry the blue is uh, bad, uh, I didn't bother to take the time to do anything about uh, filtering that out or setting settings on my phone, I'm using my actual uh, camera today. Um, but anyway, um, so that's it for the livestock pretty much um, as far as fish go. Um, corals are doing great. As you can see, the green star polyps uh, are really almost 100% taking over this rock now. We just have this little nub on the end to go. Um, the one uh, bubble coral back here, I always forget the name of it, it's doing decent. These green mushrooms right here really started uh, taking off. Um, Torch coral's doing great. All these uh, hammers and um, frog spawns in here, I always forget which are which are doing good. Toadstool's doing okay. Um, the extensions still aren't out as far as they were in the store. Trumpet coral here is doing great. Duncan is doing great. Right now it's actually retracted quite a bit, but it typically um, is, is really out and extended. This bubble coral is kind of bouncing back. Um, it's uh, I forget what you call what type it is, but it's the type that has that they branch. I think it might just be called a branching bubble coral. Um, one branch is doing great, the other is doing okay, and the final one is doing just barely hanging on. But it's actually been bouncing back lately. So um, my Ghani right here, as you can see, is on its last leg. It's been slowly dying off, and I don't see it coming back. But I'm just leaving it in here for now. And my um, Zoas over here um, are doing fairly good. Uh, kind of the Zoa garden. This one down here. Um, Candy King's doing good. Uh, the Recordia has kind of retracted quite a bit lately. It was, it comes and goes. It, it had been taken over this whole kind of corner here, but now um, it's uh, kind of been retracting as of late. Um, get you some more looking looks at the zoas here it's really hard um, with the blue lighting to get the true color of these zoas but most of them are just really looking great um, some uh, xenia back there pom-pom silver xenia uh, my bird's nest up here is doing really good green bird's nest the pink one's not doing quite as good but we'll see 
These other zinnias over here have completely taken over this whole side and back of the tank. Look at that, I gotta just frag these off at some point, I just never get around to it. Two of my NEMS, uh, this one is the smaller one, it's kind of a greenish one. It's doing good, and then this other one, you can see right in there past the zinnia, between the mushroom and the zinnias, um, has kind of found a permanent home. One of the clownfish uh, spends some time in there, but not a lot. So I'm just waiting for both of these NEMS to get bigger. Hopefully they both kind of stay where they're at. Um, I feel like they're both good locations for the most part. I'd really like to have a nice NEM in this front kind of cave area, um, especially like a red bubble tip, but we'll see if that happens or not. Actually, I said green, but this is actually a bubble tip right here. It's a small one. But it's got some greenish coloration in there. Um, but yeah, other than that, there's not much else to report at this point other than things have gone good overall. Um, if, if you're new to my channel and this is the first time you've seen one of my videos, um, I've got a whole uh, playlist on this one reef tank by itself so you can take a look at some of the other uh, videos and I've, up, I've kind of updated my progress monthly along the way. Um, something that's coming up that I'll try to get out for you is I've got the Jabo dosing pump rolling here, the DP4, and I also just got the uh, the unit that gives you that can you can add four more units, um, so that or four more pumps, so you got a total of eight pumps. So I'll be doing a video on this kind of. Uh, I'm not sure how in depth I'll go. Maybe I'll do like a full setup, including. Um, calibrating and also um, um, setting the timer and everything because I've got uh, two more pumps on here that I still have to set I've just got two rolling right now um, and uh, what I'm also going to do then is I'll do a video on setting up the uh, this unit as well um, the DP4S and uh, what I'll do then is show you kind of how I have it all mounted right now it's just sitting on the shelf I've got uh, a mounting unit on the way and I've also got um, some, right now I'm just using these uh, canning jars and they work great but I decided to spend the extra money and buy the acrylic um, kind of square rectangular um, liquid holding units that uh, I don't know if Jabo actually makes them or if they just always you always see them on eBay and Amazon um, as like an add-on item or whatever to go with the Jabo pump so I'm gonna be setting all that up and then I'll kind of show you guys uh, how it's all set up and mounted in here <clears throat> you really got to worry about saving space in a small cabinet like that so it, it should be good couple videos coming up on the reef in the near future but other than that, that's about all I got to say right now, other than, uh, you know, it's been a fun year I'm showing you guys my reef tank. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it and hope some of you um, have learned something. I know I've learned a lot on my first go at saltwater and for a first timer, I would say um, that uh, I would count it a success. Um, but uh, yeah, leave your comments below. Um, if you're new to this channel also, I'd love it if you'd subscribe. I do videos on all my fish tanks monthly. Um, this is my only saltwater tank, but I have uh, 38 freshwater tanks total. I keep shrimp and I keep uh, cichlids. Um, so um, there's something for everybody. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And also make sure that you subscribe to all the members of Team Aquatic Support. They're, um, YouTube channels are going to be listed below and make sure you go over onto Facebook and go to Aquatic Support Community on Facebook. Um, it's a great group uh, of people that, uh, you know, any type of fish, saltwater, freshwater, um, fish, shrimp, whatever, corals, plants, anything, anything related to the aquatic hobby, uh, you're going to find it on there and you're going to find people to talk to that have similar interests, so check that out. Um, anyway, uh, for now that's about it for the reef, but look forward to the two videos coming up uh, on the dosing pump that I talked about, and uh, we'll do another update next month, and until then, later.